Hey everybody, it is Radley here with the Energetic Weather Report for September 25th through October 1st. And just like that, it's October. Wow. Okay. Um, so we are, of course, working with my upcoming deck, the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle Cards. That comes out October 11th. I'm very excited about it. Very excited to have just to have a real deck to use with the energetic weather reports and the daily video cards and stuff like that. But before we do that, we are going to figure out who your personal Archangel of the Week is using the major arcana cards from Angel Tarot cards and Archangel Power Tarot cards. So do you feel called to card number one? Just use your intuition. Card number two. Card number three or card number four. So while you ruminate on that, let's get busy. So it's an interesting story this week. Um, um, so let me just, let's just go. So on Sunday, we have a card that's called Let It Go. The message from Archangel Michael being, this situation no longer serves you. Allow me to sever your energetic connections to the past so that you can embrace the future. Now, I feel like... Yeah, I, I feel like this is a situation where um, you need to let something go. You need to let somebody go. You, there's something in your life that needs to go, but you are trepidatious about it. You're just not really sure um, how you feel about it. Maybe you are sure how you feel about it, and the way you feel about it is really not great about you, whether you're personally sad or sad for someone else, but there's this sense or energy of like, I don't know, but Michael can help you with that. Michael further goes on to say that this is a blessing in disguise. Okay, and it says, be patient and have faith that your angels have this situation under control. What will come is far better than you dared to dream. So this is why I think that it's because of these two cards kind of like together that I feel like it's like something that you're not sure about letting go of. But the angels are saying, let it go. And the angels are also saying that it will be a blessing in disguise. Don't worry. It'll be OK. In fact, that, and that last card being Monday on, on Tuesday, the next card we have is embrace this magical moment. So you are in a perfect energetic, energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. I, I don't know if I think this is about abundance as much as I just feel like it's about a life change. And so what we're being told, we're being told to let it go. We're being told that it'll be a blessing in disguise. And even further beyond that, that we should embrace the magic of the moment. So on Wednesday, the next card is be the real you. So the message being your greatest power comes from being who you truly are. Don't let anyone sway you from expressing your authentic self. Now we have a clue, right? So I feel like it's a situation or a person that is keeping you from being your true self. And so by releasing this stuff and embracing the change, you get to be your true authentic self. Thursday is a card that says prioritize self-care. We saw this in the video card of the day just uh, like a week ago, I think. Um, it says you do so much for others. It's time you for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. So this is a card that... I think it's two, twofold. It's one, because you're going through this, this time of change, don't forget to take care of yourself. But yeah, sure, let other people help as well. Uh, on Friday, we have You're Ready for More. Um, I'm not even sure if you've seen this card. I'm not, I can't remember if it's been a video card of the day or not. Anyway, it, the card, the message from Archangel Michael is your career is growing and blossoming. Now is the time to make the changes you have been contemplating. So this can be about career, but again, I just think it's, it's saying you're ready for more. That by the time you get to Friday, you have this sense, this energy, this knowledge that all of this is going to be okay. And not is it going to, not only is it okay, I'll have more change, please. 
And then the last card is card 35. It is trust your trust the guidance you were receiving. Now, this is a card with Archangel Uriel. You can see his scroll and the U's at the top and the sword. And so your Archangel Uriel has blessed you with a brilliant epiphany. I'm also present to clear away your worries so that you can trust your God, divine guidance. So I love that we have really started with a Michael and we ended with a Michael, we even have a Michael in the middle. <laughs> so it's really, that's really great. But it's like by Saturday, you're going to have some real epiphanies, uh, probably about what all that stuff meant that happened that week. So let's have a look at what Archangels might be of assistance to you this week. Card number one is the star with Archangel Jophiel. When Archangel Jophiel's name means the beauty of God, and she is the, an Archangel that helps us to stay positive. Um, if you're working through law of attraction, if you're working on manifestation with me and my membership group, Jophiel is really great archangel to have on your side because she helps us to keep our our thoughts positive. She helps us to stay in a place of positivity so that we don't fall into negativity and worry and fear and then manifest something we didn't really want to manifest. Card number two is Archangel Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah L. Um, is an archangel that helps us with our intuition and our divine gifts, but he's also the archangel that helps us take a review of our life. He helps us to like look at the past, look where we are now, and where do we want to go. And so also a good, arch good archangel for this week's message. For card number three, Archangel Michael. So safety, protection, protection severing our energetic connections, the stuff we don't want, and life purpose okay now this happened last week with archangel shamuel we have michael as card number four as well so same message as card number three but michael really did show up in this in this whole energetic weather report um so let's see um okay so my inner my I have a new membership group it's called the magical manifesting membership group we're going to be manifesting 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 for the next whole year you're running out of days to get into that class because the the door shuts closed boom like Mooney closed 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 on the 28th so you've just got 25th to 6th to 7th, yeah, you just have four more days. So this is your chance. Come join us. We're going to be working with the angels and tarot again this year, but it's all geared towards manifestation and creating the, the life of your dreams. So come join us. You can find it at radleyvalentine.com forward slash magical. That's it for this week. See you next week.